Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, 14 years ago, I was on nobody's prospecting list because I was kind of a wild man, a hermit or, or something like that. So a bit like what David Collister was talking about today, I couldn't talk, I couldn't tell his story and people now don't believe that. But so Swanee was my mentor and he'd done network marketing for something like 10 years or 15 years already. So he knew what to do and being the mentor, he had to do it. He was just as uncomfortable as me. So <laughs> the first thing we did was go to the beach and ask people if they wanted to be free or wanted to be more healthy or whatever. And so we'd go to a beach like this and walk up to people and ask a qualifying question. The whole game was ask a qualifying question, see if they want some information. And so it must have been really, really hard for Swanet, but because there was two of us and he was my upline, he had to. <laughs> so he walked up to the people and said something and you know, they just wanted to get rid of us. We were just two weird guys walking down the beach, you know, like uh, what could it possibly be? People were already waiting for us. What are they going to say? <laughs> but they weren't interested in health or money. They just had a holiday. Right? It was a summer holiday in Golden Bay on the beach. So then he says, OK, so that, that's what you do. So you next. And I walk up to those people and then I walk past and I can't say anything. <laughs> and I say, OK, so what are you doing another one? <laughs> So I don't know how many he did, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So then we jumped in the car, went somewhere else, you know, like drive avoidance, drive for half an hour, <laughs> go to another beach. <laughs> and I, I think I did two people, which was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And then I said, now, nah, let's go home and do it on the phone. Because phone was much easier, didn't have to look at people. So then Swally says, I've got this list of networkers, this company, this when belly up and there's all these networkers, which was a very scary thing, so talking to real networkers, right? <laughs> so again, he was brave, he did the first call, did this script, because we made the script up, this is what we're going to say, and then he said, okay, you're next, and so he gives me the number, the name, the script, everything was ready, and I ring and I'm hoping like hell nobody's going to pick up the phone, <laughs> and this woman says, hello, and I go, <laughs> 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 and nothing would come, and I quickly hung up. <laughs> at that point actually Swanee was at his home and I was at home, we did that three way call, right? And then Swanee rang me back for about half an hour, I didn't pick up the phone. I was not going to do another call, you know, he tried to get me back, get me back on the horse, you know? <laughs> so, it's like he worked very hard to turn me into a network and I'm forever grateful. <laughs>